Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install a CLK bootloader. First thing you'll need to do is download the zip file that I've provided in the description. It will be called clkinstall.zip. So download that wherever you want, doesn't really matter, um, to your desktop or to your downloads folder. Then what you want to do is extract it as it's in a zip file. And then you'll have a, a number of folders and you will want to go into task29 folder. And um, what this will do is wipe your device, uh, clean any crap that's on your device. Um, from previous flashes or installs of whatever you've been doing on your device, it'll wipe it clean so it's fresh without an operating system, there'll be nothing on it. So what you want to do is you want to make sure your phone is off and then you want to plug the USB uh, cable into your phone while holding down the volume down button. So hold that down, plug it in and your device should turn on. If not, just hold the power on button while holding down the volume down button and wait till you see this USB sign here and now uh, your device is in the uh, the bootloader screen and what I'm going to do now is go to the computer side and show you what to do from there. Right, so now here I am on the computer and like I said, open up the Task29 folder right click it, run as administrator and this will begin the Task29 uh, process. So uh, just read the prompt, select OK, wait for it to do its thing. If you have a firewall like I do, um, let it through, let it do what it needs to do, and uh, it should only take a few seconds. Um, again, click I understand, follow all the prompts, uh, make sure you do what the prompts say. Um, keep going, and this is the last step here. Now if you look at your device, uh, you should see that um, something will come on your screen. Wait till it gets to 100% and hold down the volume down button again. So keep that held down whilst 100% is, is on your screen so that it will reboot back into the bootloader. Just keep that held down. And there we are, back into the bootloader. Should say USB now. There we go. And now, uh, just press finish on this, and you're ready to start the next step. Okay, now that the task 29 is complete, you're ready to install CLK. So all you need to do is um, run the custom RUU uh, from the CLK uh, 150 megabyte, 5 megabyte cache folder. So right click custom ruu.exe uh, and run as administrator click yes to any prompts that come up and uh, you should start uh, being a flash clk in a second if you have any firewalls like before uh, just allow it through follow the prompts read them carefully and make sure um, everything uh, you've done is up on the screen so Keep going through, next, next, and just see what your device does. Your device should change to uh, a progress bar just like before. And again, uh, you'll need to um, wait a sec for the progress bar to get to 100. Um, and then after this is done, your device should restart. And it should restart into... Um, CLK. Uh, so just wait for that to happen. Yeah, this stuff like this should come up on your screen, so don't worry about that. And you're ready to go on to the next step. So now from the PC side, um, just press finish and go back into the main folder. And you'll need to install the device drivers um, if you haven't already, or if it's not picked them up. Um, but if it hasn't picked them up, just go into Google USB Driver folder uh, in Device Drivers and go to the Android Win USB uh, Right click that and then just select Install. That should uh, do its thing. Just let it uh, follow all the prompts. Um, and now you should be able to uh, carry on with the video. Right now I'm back at the computer, you're ready to install Clockwork Mod. So what you need to do is go into the Fastboot folder 
and you need to double click on install recovery.bat um, you get a command line window that will pop up and then your phone should reboot like so and hold the home button while your phone goes into the CLK menu and it should just bring you straight into clockwork mod so keep that home button held down and here you go you're in it um, from here you can uh, install a ROM uh, by using a zip folder which you can uh, get from an XDA site or any other site um, I'm not going to show you how to install a ROM but I'm sure that there are many tutorials um, or you probably know how to do it anyway if you're looking up this video you probably know what to do and how to install a ROM from clockwork mod so yeah, if you if you like this video, um, don't forget to press that like button. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. And if you got any questions, leave them in the comment section. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.